Hey everyone, so I am now at three years and two months um, in my transition. Um, I sort of feel like personally that it's at the stage now where there's not re really a lot more for me to do um, in terms of experiencing new situations. I think I've changed a lot. The world has changed the way it interacts with me and now it's sort of at a steady point where I know what to expect um, in everyday life now presenting the way that I do and there's not really going to be many drastic changes in the way that I present physically to myself or any new emotional changes I'm not prepared for all of that sort of stuff so here I am at this point um, so I guess this video is sort of a summary in a way um, in terms of chest surgery it's been um, about two years and I don't know, like six months or something roughly since that happened and that's just healed amazingly so that's um, no complaints there um, and yeah I think it, I'm just generally at a point where it's now time to I'm not really having to deal with the everyday reminder that I am um, transitioning or that I am trans or that I don't really have any um, uh, dysphoria in terms of the only dysphoria I really have now is um, uh, dealing with like blending in completely as as male um, instead of the way that it was initially, that, which was the opposite. Um, I'm not someone that really wants to be seen one way or the other, so um, that's a very minute and insignificant almost thing to complain about, I'm not complaining, but um, that's the only sort of dysphoria that I experience is the, um, the feeling of sometimes, yeah, feeling a little bit invisible and blending in too much with um, cis heteronormative society or just cis society. Um, but that's the least of my worries really. Um, I came from a place where I was, um, you know, so depressed, completely unable to work, get out of bed, uh, have any sort of respect, love, care for myself, um, used to take a lot of drugs, had really horribly abusive, emotionally abusive relationships because I didn't think I was worth anything more and um, had zero self-esteem, zero confidence, hated myself and being in my body. Um, music was the only real thing I was able to do through all of that because that was my creative outlet. Um, but fortunately I have had the support of um, amazing family and friends along the way so I'm very thankful for that. Um, on the flip side of that, I'm now at a point where three years down the track I'm not dealing with depression anymore. Um, I still have mild anxiety but that's something that sort of inherently <laughs> I think comes with who I am. Um, but it's nothing compared to what it used to be. Um, I'm a lot more confident. I care about myself. I look after myself more. Um, I have respect for myself. I, I'm not as afraid, um, I definitely want to be here, whereas I didn't before, um, I've started running my own business, um, amongst the queer community, it's a landscaping company, um, so I'm getting out there and doing things that I wouldn't have had the capacity to do before. Um, and the independency to do before, uh, the confidence or any of that stuff, so 
um, I'm a lot more positive and feel a lot better in myself and genuinely know and feel that things are possible for me now, which is great. Um, so yeah, it really feels like life is beginning now, or it has been beginning since the beginning of my transition, but now it's like smooth sailing, finally, so that's really nice, um, yeah, um, I suppose that's my summary, um, changes are very, um, minute these days, I guess it's just, like, down to more facial hair and, like, my beard coming in eventually, which I don't really care about very much, but, um, this is it, and, yeah, everyone else as well and um, all the best and love to you all.